Hey guys, so we're going to be going over question two, which asks, what is the IUPAC name of the following compound? And so what this question wants you to do is it wants you to determine the R or S configurations of carbons two and carbon three. And so the technique that I would recommend that you uh, use for this is to imagine as if you were looking at the compound directly when you do your drawing. So here we're going to imagine that we're looking at the second carbon from this position of our eye. And so we're going to draw our carbon. We've got a bromine going towards us. We've got a methyl going away from us. We've got a hydrogen. And then we have our C3, which is attached to a bromine, ethyl group, and a hydrogen. OK. So now we're going to want to determine whether this is R or S. And the first thing we need to do in order to do that is we're going to have to prioritize. And so our bromine goes first. And then next we have to choose between this carbon or this carbon. Now since the methyl group is attached to three hydrogens, while the, uh, our third carbon in the compound, this carbon here, is attached to a bromine, another carbon, and a hydrogen, that would take our second priority. Our third priority then would go to the methyl, and our final priority, like usual, goes to the hydrogen. And so now we've prioritized the four compounds on this chiral carbon. And so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to, and this is where it gets a little uh, tricky, is we're going to want to put our fourth priority, which in this case is a hydrogen, sometimes it's, it's different, but we're going to put our fourth priority going away from us. And so very simply what we're going to do in order to do that is we're just going to replace the, the compound that is going currently away from us, which would be this methyl, with the hydrogen. So we're just going to go ahead and erase here, erase here. And now we're going to put our hydrogen down here, and we're going to put our methyl up here. And so now we're, that would change the priority for hydrogen would still be the priority, but now it's going away from us. And then we've got three here. Okay, and so now we do our neat little trick where we do counterclockwise and clockwise. And so we start at one, two to three. That would be counterclockwise, so that's S. And now, however, we did a reversal uh, in the fourth priority. So what this means is we're going to have to uh, also reverse our answer. So instead of S, we're going to get the R. And so that occurs any time that we do a fourth priority reversal. Uh, let's go ahead and do the third carbon, which also is going to use require this technique, and I'll show and we'll get some more practice with that. But for now, we've determined that our second carbon is in the R configuration, so we can go ahead and take these guys out because those are two S. Okay, so now we're going to use our eye to look at this third carbon, this third chiral carbon. We're going to go ahead and draw that out. That's going to look like carbon with a hydrogen going towards us, a bromine going away from us. We've got our second carbon here, and then we've got our ethyl group. Okay, so now next we're going to prioritize, and we've got one. Second carbon would be, uh, or C2 would be our second priority because that's attached to a bromine, a uh, methyl, and a hydrogen. And then this is our third priority because that's attached to a carbon, and then uh, two hydrogens less than the bromine and the methyl group and then lastly we've got the hydrogen usually like is number four okay so now we're going to do the same thing we want our fourth priority group going away from us so we're going to go ahead and flip the bromine and the hydrogen because the bromine is in the away position so we're going to put our hydrogen here and our bromine here and so now that leaves us with a priority one here and a priority four over here. So now we're happy uh, because the fourth priority group is going away from us. And so now we're going to do our, our clock trick. And we've got one, two, three. That is going counterclockwise. So that would be S. And then since we did a reversal, the fourth priority reversal, that's going to make that R. And so now we have, uh, we had from our last time, we got two R. Now we have three R, two, three, dibromopentane. So the answer would be D.